This is the software that we use to design and create our 3D parts. Um, it's Autodesk Inventor Pro 2019. I really like this. It's super powerful software. A lot more in here than we'll probably ever use, but it's still, um, it still, it does amazing. Took a little bit to figure it out, to learn it. There's a lot of YouTube videos you can go and watch to uh, learn how to use it. But you can see here's some of the stuff that we've designed. The boys have, my boys have designed their paddle tires. Right here's the wheel. Here's one of the tires. One tire design, another tire design. There's another wheel. Um, we'll pull those up and we'll look at them a little closer. Oh, that background noise, that is the 3D printer. It's printing uh, Nautilus gear, I believe it's called. A little cool little 3D print we're doing right now. Anyways, here's, here's the wheel or uh, I think this is Dakota's, one of the cars here. Um, yes, yeah, so they went in here and designed all this, pretty neat. Uh, they can go in, design it, look at it, move it around, and then send it to the 3D printer and let it print, it's pretty cool. Okay, let's see, let's look at, oh, here's another one of the tires. I think this one's on Braxton's car, the Rustler. Um, that's the wheel for that one. Okay, let's see. We got there. We go. There's one of the tires. Oh, it looks like that one has a tire and the wheel in it. Uh, they designed it with the wheel out of it, just so that in case the wheel breaks, they can pull it out, put a new print a new wheel, put it put it back in. The tire itself is pretty beefy, um, so it's the, the wheel here that they were worried about having some problems, so they made it so they could pull it out, put a new one in it. Yep, there's the, there's the tire by itself. Um, you can see these little gaps right here, right here around. That's where the wheel slips into it. Yeah, pretty beefy, nice paddles on there. They work really good. But anyways, a little fun project. There's the finished printed, 3D printed wheels right there. Um, looks like it had a little bit of damage, probably trying to put it together. Yeah, like I said, these were a little tight going in. Um, but they went in all right. I think he was gonna print it at a different infill. That one was like maybe a 15%. He was gonna bump that up a little, beef it up a little bit. You can even do it at 100%, that'd really beef it up. But that's at a 15, that's why I think it cracked right there. But pretty cool though. That's that one. Here's Braxton's right here. Um, they're off the car right now, but yeah, same same sort of idea, same design. Design the wheel here so you can slip it in the tire. Pretty cool though. Also 3D printed the front bumper to this. It was first day he took it out and broke his bumper. So we had to get on and find a, a new bumper. So, oh, it looks like it's cracked too, a little bit cracked. So, anyways, that's the cool thing about a 3D printer is you can just print a new one.